Hey guys, welcome to a new episode. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to apply this effect to your image. Everything you need, brush, image, will be in the description and let's start. Alright, let's immediately start. So here we have our image, let's duplicate it. So we will call this image1 and this one image2. Alright, now let's select our fox. We want to select it, not really, per not perfectly, we want to select it, you know, kind of roughly. Just go with uh, quick selection tool and try to select everything. Alright, now press move tool. Then go over our fox, press Ctrl C, then Ctrl V, and you will duplicate that layer. If I re hide those two layers, as you can see, that's our fox. It doesn't really need to be perfect, as you can see, it's not perfect, and we don't need that. Now, let's call this fox1, duplicate that, fox2. Okay, now so we have Fox 1, Fox 2. And now let's go to. What should we do first? Okay, let's go to Image 2, Layer Image 2. Then use your Clone Stamp tool. Make it, let's say, this big. Or maybe a little bit smaller. So it will look prettier. Alright, now hold Alt and press. So I think half a centimeter centimeter uh, from Fox some somewhere around here and then just go start painting over the Fox by the way remove those two layers uh, I, I'm not sorry I'm sorry don't remove them just hide them all right now just paint over the Fox as you can see there are some lines that are not perfect we'll fix everything later don't panic everything will be fixed And all right, now as you can see, it's lo it looks a bit weird, but see those lines right here? We'll remove now them. Go to uh, I think this is healing, spot healing brush tool. Make it a little bit bigger and just go over those lines. As and as you can see, it will blend them together nicely. Give your computer a little bit time. As you can see, they are blended nicely. Maybe one more time, and yeah, that's it. All right. Now turn on those two layers. Go on Fox 2. Go to Filter, Liquify, and you will get this new uh, environment to work in. So go right over here, Forward Warp Tool. Choose that. Then just enlarge it, so make it size bigger, let's say 800, I did it 800, you can make it a little bit smaller, so like 700. Alright, now just warp everything, just, you can't uh, make mistake right here, just make it, you know, all the way to the end of screen. As I said, as, as I said you can't make mistake right here. Whoops. Nice. Alright. And that's it. Uh, press OK. It looks a bit weird, but we'll fix it. So make sure that Fox 2 is selected, then hold Alt and click on Layer Mask. This icon right here in the bottom right corner. And as you can see, everything is fixed now. And you got this black square right here. And uh, just wait, hold that right there, just click on Fox 1 this time, underneath that, and without holding anything just click this layer mask right here. And now you have white square right here. Ok, so we will start with that white square, select white square on the Fox 1, and select your brush, I have, I have a bunch of brushes. And I will choose one, let's say, 
I think this one will be alright. Make it larger. Yeah, that one will be perfect. Maybe this. No, 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 no. This one will be perfect. Uh, I will leave in description uh, to download brushes if you can't find on the internet, but there are a bunch of free brushes. Alright, now leave this opened. You will need to rotate it, and I will show you why. So, let's see. Um, turn opacity all the way up. That's by default all the way up. I don't know why it's my on 90%, but turn it to 100%. And you can start just clicking, you know, making that effect of, of how to say that, of disappearing. Just don't make it too much. Make it, you know, just enough. Maybe at the edges go a little bit harder with that, so it looks like it's really disappearing. Okay, that's enough. We, we can come back to fix that later if we want. That's on Fox 1. Now go on Fox 2 layer and press this uh, black square and go in white color and just start you know rotating your brush so it don't it doesn't look really you know uh, how to say that generic I guess so rotate it don't do like everything in one position and just start dabbing maybe change your brush if you want I will change mine so let's find something nicer uh, we have something right here. No. This one could be nice. No, 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 no. No. Yeah, it's really hard to find perfect brush for that. But okay, I find something. So rotate it. You can squeeze it. You can, you know, increase it. It's up to you how you would do that. I like to use a variety of brushes, as you can see I have a lot of them. So let's go with something different, let's see like this, alright. Let's rotate that. Alright now, if for some reason you see too much color on this, don't worry, that's why we created those layers in black. Just switch from white to black, pick any brush you want. This is smoke, I guess. I don't want smoky brush, I want normal brush. Let's see. This one? Oh yeah, this one is nice. Okay, switch to black and just start dabbing on that and that will erase. As you can see, it's erasing if I you know erase as you can see I don't want to erase I just want to dab a little in that and as you can see we are getting our effect done again change to white if you want to add some and that's almost it we can turn off this window now that looks okay but we want to give it some charm so go to image 2 this layer right here go to image adjustments and desaturate that will turn image to black and white and it gives a nice feeling to it really nice now go to adjustments right here if you don't have adjustments right here go to window and adjustments as you can see now I turned it off and now I turned it on you'll probably get it right here so you just you know can put it here can do it any, anything with that I'll have to put it here go to curves this icon right here you'll get this nice curve and that's really nice tool I use it almost on any image I do as you can see before after before after it gives a really nice feeling don't go over the edge with that be careful with that because that's a really powerful tool and you know and as you can see it gives a nice nice feeling nice warm 
to that fox and that's it guys as you can see we did it if you want to put it on Instagram or on something you probably want to resize it this is not size for Instagram but yeah that's it basically for this episode I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next episode bye